You're, you're actually the principal. Yes. But you have an assistant principal too, is that right? Yes, three. Three, three of them. Yeah. That yeah. run the, the whole, all the different campuses. No. Just um, here. Uh, one, one, one um, okay, that depends how you divide the work it, uh, at school. Mm -hmm. Because we are a big school, we have three. And okay. I hope that we stay as big to keep three. Because right. we're there, let's say, we might lose one. Is, is Slovenia in um, population declining? Um, I think that at the moment the situation is getting better. Mm -hmm. uh, so um, the, the area where we are, Mm -hmm. um, got um, there were some new, like say, houses and blocks of flats. Built. Right. So the population increased mm -hmm. um, in the last ten years quite but, a lot. But are women having kids? I guess bef yeah. the reason why I say that, like in yeah. St Estonian and Japan, it's uh, yeah, it's very uh, um, the situation critical. is so more or less stable at the moment. Right. But you know, you never know. <laughs> Maybe because it's a Catholic country. Um, let's say in the year 2008, the kindergarten was free for the second child, I think, and at that that was a baby boom. <laughs> right. But then that somehow fell, and the social support is very good. It's mm -hmm. very supportive. Mm -hmm. So it's it it pays right. off if you have three children. So you, you, you have you have mostly women, women. and is yeah. that because it's uh, because do you think it's because oh, um, teaching? Salaries are, are generally lower, and it. Um, I think what do you think that is? The job is that tough. Yeah. It's it's really you need to be a multitasker, right. very patient, right. uh, very um, able to be uh, of empathy and so on. So, right. Right. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. So here is the place where we have the head of school um, food. Sure. Okay. She she needs to. Has a lot of okay. work here. <laughs> Alright. Um, oh, you need a bathroom? Yeah, we'll just keep going. Okay. I'm okay. 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 So, this is where is the hole. Yeah. And you see that uh, track um, on the floor? Yeah. Would you try? Yeah. <laughs> I can uh, hold the camera. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. From where? Here? Yes. When you enter school, right? Right. So try to... Okay. So we need to jump. Yes. Oh, think. <laughs> so it's like uh, you're all, you're getting P right away, right? Is that how it is? Yes, you're doing yeah. great. Hand eye coordination, something. Yeah, like yeah. That. Oh, right, right, right. You, you, oh, you I see jump. how it works. <laughs> I got it. Okay. <laughs> so, do you have the kids do that as they come in, or? Um, and uh, during lessons, if they um, need some. Movement if they need some <laughs> right <laughs> to de-stress, right? Sure. And then the, the track goes to the water, right? Oh, and I the see. The hydration is very important. Right. Uh, and this is quite. Uh, it's not easy, right? Right. No. <laughs> not at all. This is the periodic system, right? This is the periodic system. Hmm. Okay. I'm not familiar, I'm sorry with... Oh, no problem, Vera and I. <laughs> the chemist periodic chart? Yeah. Of chemistry? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And uh, they, they design, develop different games. Oh, and they uh, have they to... They bring the names and then things like that. Right. So that's, the, the point is that school is a learning place, right? Right, right. Um, then, let's say here. Um, these are vehicles that um, go, uh, let's say, um, are driven by elastic, mm -hmm. uh, or um, what is it? Um, and they, um, students designed that mm. with how of teachers, and uh, these all won, um, were successful in right. competition. Uh, we are good in sports, as you can see. Sure. <laughs> and we are most proud of uh, this one. <laughs> This well. is a basketball team. Oh, okay. Um, and it's uh, the game is played like that: uh, boys play, and girls, and boys and girls. Oh, okay. Right? And this is one, let's say, game of basketball, really? so that everyone is in it. And, sure. Uh, if boys, let's say, we have very good um, team um, of girls, basketball girls team. So, okay. 
This is it? Maybe. This is all something interesting. So they, they, they would be in this, they would play their games after school? Or uh, during yeah, school? Yeah, after, after, school. after school. After school. Sports. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the um, fairy tale mall. Okay. Uh, the seventh graders. Um, they visited the first graders and they read um, stories to them uh -huh. and then at the end of the year um, they painted this wall for them. Oh really? Wow, so that's cool. Um, this is um, a kind of a tactile board. Uh -huh. So you, you can, you can, let's say, you can feel different, different materials, things and different materials. things. That's yeah. for the younger kids. Yeah. You can play, you can count, you, right. can, you can touch, you can close your eyes. Whatever. Sure. Okay, you can see. It's right. It's kind of neat. Yeah, this is what, what we built for them so that they mm -hmm. can, they, they built. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, then on your right, there is, uh, not yet, Okay. <laughs> is um, a mirror. Oh, that's pretty neat. Um, we, we are eco-school, mm -hmm. it means that uh, we try to make use of waste material, mm -hmm. um, so we need to repair it. Yeah. At the end of school year, <laughs> it's about time to go on holidays. Yeah, no problem. Okay, then we see how tall they are. Mm -hmm. There are some... Okay. You see the teacher is telling a story. Would mm -hmm. you like to go? Yeah, on? sure. Morning. My name is Keith. 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 I'm from California. How old are you? I am 56. <laughs> yeah. How old are you? I'm six. Okay, so 50 years more and you'll be my age. <laughs> Oh, good to meet you, Marsha. My name is Clara. Clara, good to meet you. My name is Vito. Good to meet you. My name is Alyosha. Okay, good to meet you. My name is Vito. Oh, good to meet you. Good job. Well, thank you. Thanks for sharing. Sure. <laughs> thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Oh, you, you were not able to see, they have all sorts of boxes here with all sorts of materials oh, yeah. they work with, uh, but um, okay. maybe when, if we come yeah. back when they finish. Sure. Uh, just reading, the, uh, it will be about the end of the lesson in a few minutes. Okay. We can go maybe to the dining room. Okay. And is this part of the school here? This. Oh, no, that's kindergarten. Oh, that's the kindergarten. Yeah, we can go through this door. Okay. To them. So yeah, I'd like we, to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this. They, they wear. So they wear like uh, little uniforms. <laughs> they have the oh, little. They all wear. So they, they all wear these for. Yes, first graders. First graders because, only. Because um, we need to take care of them. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Identify them. Uh, yes, in the traffic. We oh, need to I be see. Especially right. take care of them. Okay. Yeah. And uh, they were just <laughs> rollerskating and. Oh, okay. Uh, I got you. Okay. So we can go here to the dining room. Uh huh. <laughs> That's their teacher. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you see the school band. <laughs> oh, okay. We're having an audition for the school band. Oh, okay. All the kids get lockers or no? Yes. yes they do. Even kindergarten or first graders? Um, they don't. Um, they have them. Uh, the first graders have uh, things in the corridor. When do they get their own locker? What grade? Depends on school. Uh huh. And second grade. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. 
done. So now um, well, the, smells the good. people prepare for each class. Sure. This is the it's very snack. healthy. That's the snack. You see wow, the vegetables: that. spinach and tomato and cheese. Cheese and, and bread. good bread. And, and there's tea. Uh, tea. tea. It's still hot, yes. Wow, and, uh, it smells if great. If you have children who are uh, have diet, mm -hmm. um, okay, this is something else. Yeah. But if child has a diet, he gets a special. Um, what he or she can eat. Uh huh. And are they making lunch right now? Yes, they are. Like yeah. <laughs> what are they? What are they making today? Okay, let's let's see. Right. Oh, it's outside. Dan, Mama Obiska is um, America. <laughs> uh, she's the head of the kitchen. So, what are you making for lunch today? What's what are the kids getting? Prajen krupir. Okay, it will be potatoes. Potatoes. Pechinko, telicho pechinko. Uh, and the roast beef. Roast beef. Yeah. And salad. And, and salad. salad. Are you from uh -huh. There's no soup today. Right. And it's all prepared by hand, by yeah. scratch. Yeah. No. Everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can see that. With real <laughs> plates, <laughs> real silverware, real. Yeah. Yeah, because in the US it's plastic plates, plastic thing, it's all processed. No, no, no. Food. We prepare yeah. here as much food as possible. Yeah. 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 So, um, well, very good. We Thank have you. Fifteen people Man. working in the kitchen. Fifteen. Yeah, because we have five kitchens. So oh wow! For eleven hundred. This is the biggest one. Yeah, that's the biggest one. They prepare food, and we transport it to two units. To this, two other places. To the yeah. other places, but two other two places have um, cook. They prepare. Food I got. Them. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Wow, this is pretty good, huh? And most of the kids eat the snacks. All of them. All of them. All of them. Yes. Right. And they pay beforehand, or um, uh, we have an accountant uh -huh. um, unit, and uh, once a month the parents get uh, right. Have to pay. Uh huh. Yeah. What about if the kids are poor? Poor? If they're, you know, they're poor kids. Oh yeah. How does uh, that work? They get them subsidized. They do. Um, either from the state, uh, from um, private donors. Uh, or from school funds. Right, right. That's not a problem. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Um, would you like to see the classroom for um, where they we teach them how to cook? Sure. Oh, I'd love to. Oh, home economics. Yeah. So you guys feel that's important too? Of course, because and if you know how to prepare food, you, you let's say you grow your own. Right. So the re that's the teacher of uh, also home economics. Hello, nice to meet you. Hello. The only reason I ask is they they've gotten rid of most of these classes in the U.S. and yeah. they think uh, they're a waste of time. I know why. <laughs> it's it's not a good thing, yeah. but it's okay. the trend. So um, they prepare. Um, they also compete. We have competitions mm -hmm. preparing food. So our school team won second prize this year. So yes. when when do kids get home economics? In the fifth grade. Fifth grade, and how many times? Uh, they have it um, uh, two lessons a week, and then in the fifth and in the sixth grade. Two lessons a week. Yeah, in the fifth and in the sixth. But grade. But the seventh and eighth, they don't, don't. Don't have it anymore. Right, right, yeah. yeah. Right. But uh, they, they can also choose um, an optional subject, uh -huh. which is called uh, modern food preparation. Really? <laughs> yeah, and it's quite popular. Uh -huh. I think because of the teacher as well. So you, you think that exposing kids to this early on is will ultimately make them eat better? Yes, uh, they know how to prepare food. Let's say if um, parents stay, stay at work for a long time, sure. they, they're trained how to prepare food. Right. Um, and they also, um, many people, pupils uh, decide to continue the education um, in um, tourism, in gastronomy, mm -hmm. uh, as cooks, as waiters, as right. um, um, they prepare some sweet dishes, things like that. Do you? This is you probably think this is a stupid question, but do you see many kids showing up to school eating Cheetos and potato chips for breakfast? Um, <laughs> when when I have a first meeting with parents in September, I say, don't do it. Right? <laughs> right. It's not healthy to give child money in the morning to go to the shop and come to school yeah. in the morning with 
chips and coke. Because this is the trend at my school. The point is what happens in your body. Right. Let's say the teacher of home economics, she's really nice. They were, not long ago, I was in a classroom and they were tasting flour as, let's say, not prepared, right? Mm -hmm. And um, then um, they ate that and she said, what happens in your body when you eat that? And you try to make them aware it's your body, you are you will always be the boss of your own body. Mm -hmm. So, sure. how do you want to manage your body? Right. And uh, this is so important. So, every euro that you invest in school, in, let's say, healthy diet, means less cost in health healthcare system, and sure. healthcare and so on. Sure. It's really important. We would like, our, one of our priorities is to make children independent. Mm -hmm. So, what can we teach them to, to make their life easier mm -hmm. not not in the way that we are their caretakers their i don't know waiters and so on right. to support them but what can they where can they be strong mm -hmm. for their own life grade one through four are they exposed at all or by with healthy food um everyone uh, i mean yeah. not healthy food but in terms of curriculum or um, is that something that teachers teach th that's um we are eco-school, so to say, mm -hmm. so uh, we have priority for now for 11 years to, let's say, somehow live in cohabitation with nature. Mm -hmm. We try to understand how that we are just um, a part of the wider system called right. nature and we right. need to respect the principles that rule in nature. Mm. We are not to, let's say, um, outruled. <laughs> yeah. So, um, ever, they, they know a lot about the Sure, sure. <laughs> so, what are you Okay, would you like to talk to me? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Hello, how are you doing? No, we are here with Mr. Kita Bellarda from California, who is doing the work of the system. And he is a 15 countries that are the most successful for the results of PISI and we are the last country on his own path. So, yeah. Are you, are, what grade are you guys in? What grade? Seventh. Seventh grade, okay. Yeah. And uh, how about homework? Do you have a lot of homework here? Yeah. You, you do? Yeah. And, um, and for example, per night, how much homework do you normally get? Around three pages. Well, in terms of time. Oh, hour to two sometimes. Hour to two is normal? Yeah. Would that be normal for you? If I'm lazy, free. <laughs> yeah? Is an hour, how, how much homework do you have a night normally? One hour? How about you? One hour? Two hours of homework? A half an hour to an hour. Half an hour to an hour. You know, um, I know they've probably been talking to you about the uh, gymnasium, right? Going there and... How about the vocational schools? Have you heard about those? Yes. Yeah? How many people are thinking about going to those vocational schools? Anybody? Do they understand what I'm saying? Yeah? You're thinking about that option? Oh, no. You don't want to go there? You want to go to the vocational school? Yes. Yeah? Okay. How many people want to go to the gymnasium? So, the majority. Yeah? You're not sure yet. Uh huh. Wow. And how much homework do you get a night? Um, one hour or two hours. Two hours is normal. Yes. Yeah. And how many kids are involved in music after school? Anybody go to the music? And what do you play an instrument? Yeah. What what instrument? Um, the piano. Piano. Do you go to the music school near here? Who goes to the music school after school? And how 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 often do you go there? Um, one a week. Once a week. And what are you studying there? Sorry. What do you study at the oh, school? Uh, zither. Zither. What is that? Guitar. 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 Oh, oh. This is a typical Slovenian instrument. Oh, okay. A mash pulin ani mash te sabo. And what? What are you studying there? Flute. Flute. 
Flute. And how many times a week do you go there? Um, two times. A week. Two times a week for how long? Um, one hour. And you got? Are you in a band, or are you just learning it right now? Um, just learning. And then later on, you'll get into a band, like uh, play in a whole band. Do they? Do they have a band at this school? Yes. They do. But are younger kids or older kids? Older kids. How many kids play sports after school? Right? And are the sports teams connected to the school or are they uh, just your own sports team, like a private sports team? You play what? Handball. Wow. You know what I noticed much different here than in the United States is that you guys are look healthy and you're slim. In the U.S., the kids are so fat. Well, <laughs> yeah. So, well. so why why do you think that is? Why why do you guys look so slim? Do you do you eat healthy food or do you learn? Yeah. How many people think it's important to eat healthy food? Yeah. Yes. How many people come to How many people come to school eating potato chips in the morning? Anybody? No. Why Why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you come to school eating potato chips? Um, because I I um, mustn't eat uh, salt. But who, who would teach you that? Do you learn that at school, or do your parents tell you that, or...? Um, I really teach in school. In school? Yes. So they reinforce it. Early on, you, you learn about healthy food and nutrition? Yeah? And do you learn that in your, in your home economics class, maybe? That helps? How many people like home economics? Do you like cooking and... Yeah? You think it's like a fun class? No. Yeah. Yeah. It's not really a class. I do it at home all the time. Okay. But you're learning. Yeah. Right? You're learning for lifelong preparation. God, you cook at home? Yeah, I have to. Yeah? You have to. Okay. I'm the only man at the house, so I have to. You see? How many, do, do, you, do you call your teachers by their first name or by their last name? Uh, last name. Last teacher. Yes. You call them teacher, yes. but you don't call them by their first name here. No. Okay. The only reason I ask is in Finland, the kids call many of their teachers by their first name. I was just there not too long ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's very. It's very a friendly relation. Do you feel like here, there's a good relationship between you and your teachers? Like. Huh? Some teachers yes, some teachers no. Yeah. Yeah. What what what's the difference like? What do you think? What's the difference? Um, like are your teachers your friends or they're more like authority figures? Um, one teacher, um, but, um, um, in Mathematics, in right. math class oh. is uh, very um, homework. Uh huh. Um, it's okay. In um, in um, homework economics class, it, it isn't homework. Right. And uh, uh, one teacher is very nice, but uh, one teacher is very uh, bad. Uh huh. Bad. Um, strict. Strict. Yes. yes. Right, but strict doesn't mean bad, it just means <laughs> yeah. high standards, right? Yeah.